soldiers. I'm Vaughn, and this is Swag Fitness, or Soldiers Walking Along with God. And today, we're going to be talking about jealousy, envy, and lust. So ask yourself this question. Have you ever wanted what others have? Have you ever enviously eyed your neighbor's new car? Have you ever got a job at a burger joint, but two of your friends <coughs> talk about how God has blessed them with a job at a Christian summer camp? And you get jealous because you applied there too, but instead you got this job at that burger joint. Or, more seriously, have you ever lusted after a man or woman that has belonged to someone else? then you, my friend, have experienced jealousy, envy, and lust, all of which are sins. Envy goes way beyond casting a longing glance at someone else's car or even their significant other. Once these feelings are dwelt upon, your envy can turn into hatred of the person that you're envying. This can turn into resentment against God, and then you begin to question him. Why can I have what he or she has? Don't you love me enough to give me what it is that I want, or what it is I feel I need? Exodus 20, 17. Do not want anything that belongs to someone else. Don't want anyone's house wife or husband, slaves, ox, donkeys, or anything else. When we talk about jealousy, we talk about wanting or being envious of what someone else has that you do not. It should be stated that this form of jealousy is sin and not a characteristic of Christians. Instead, it shows that you're still being controlled by your own selfish desires. Jealousy indicates that we aren't satisfied with what God has already given us. The more we focus on ourselves and our own desires, the less we focus on God. And 1 Corinthians 3, 3. Because you are not yet spiritual, you are jealous and argue with each other. This proves that you are not spiritual and that you are acting like the people of this world. Matthew 5.28 sums up lust pretty nicely. But I tell you that if you look at another woman and want her, you are already unfaithful in your thoughts. But men are not the only ones who are guilty of this. And quite honestly, that's something that everybody does every single day because we're constantly surrounded by sexual stimuli every single day. Every day, you do it. We're all guilty of it, each and every one of us. If you ever watch porn, or saw a sexy scene in a movie and wished that was you, guess what? You lusted. Lust focuses on pleasing oneself with no regard of any of the consequences that follow. Lust boils down to two things, possession and greed. It should be said that nobody apart from Christ will ever be perfect or attain sinlessness in this life. Christianity is about selflessness and marked by holy living because we want to become more and more like Christ every single day. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 5 tells us we are to have perfect love that God has for us. Love is kind and patient, never jealous, boastful, proud, or rude. Love isn't selfish or quick-tempered. 
it doesn't keep a record of the wrongs that others do. When we harden our hearts to these truths, it becomes more and more difficult to turn to God and allow him to be able to heal our lives. So in regards to lust, this is something that many Christians such as myself and non-Christians struggle with. When an evil desire introduces itself, we have a choice to reject it or to entertain it. Sinful lust begins with an evil desire. Being tempted by the evil desire isn't the sin in itself. When temptation comes knocking, both men and women have a choice to give in to their lust or to reject it. We are to expo uh, we are exposed, like I was saying uh, earlier, we are exposed to sexual stimuli constantly. But remember, you have a choice. If we struggle with it, we must come clean to God and ask for his intervention because guess what mommy daddy they're not going to be able to intervene for you they don't have the power to do so your friends your family they're not going to have the power to intervene only God can change he can fix what is broken can't nobody else do that We are all human, and each and every one of us make mistakes. But don't let this sin be one that overcomes you. Many people, including myself, have fallen to this sin. So no, you are not alone if you fall into this category, because this is Satan's top, one of his top generals. And it gets everyone because we're constantly surrounded by it. It's in music. It's in movies. It, 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 it's in books. It's everywhere. Fifty Shades of Grey. That, there you go. It's in movies. There's even a book about Fifty Shades of Grey. And you don't even want to know the kind of things my friends talked about when they read that book and what it did to them. And if you're watching this video, I'm sure it had some sort of effect on you, too. But it's around us every single day. And everyone has fallen into it at some point in time. What we are to do is turn from the sin. Repent. Take it to God. And never look back. And another point doesn't matter whether you are single or not. If you've been jealous, envious, or lusting after something that doesn't belong to you, you need to stop now. Because if you do not, it will get worse. Focus and be content with the things God has already given to you. Put all that energy and focus with the things and people God has already placed in your life because we all have a choice and if we choose wrong then it's a decision that you will end up regretting for your entire life remember that the grass is not always greener on the other side if any of these feelings has happened to you like it has to me and many others what you might be feeling is hormones, something new and enticing, and a little infatuating. But listen close. It is not worth throwing away the things that have already been placed in your life, such as your family, relationships, or otherwise. And guys, that brings us to a close of uh, today's topic jealousy envy and lust so guys if you like this video 
uh, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, leave any kind of positive feedback or constructive criticisms that you might have, not criticisms that make me go home crying to my mama. Can't have that. Uh, but I would gladly love to hear from each and every one of you. And if you're new to this channel, guys, I want you to subscribe. You know, and once you subscribe, not only that, there's a um, little bell icon next to the subscribe button. So I want you to click that bell. And anytime I upload videos, it's going to let you know that, hey, I got a new video out. You need to check it out. Uh, you see that thumbs up. Like this video. Give us a thumbs up. And share this content with anyone and everyone you know we want to do our best to get our message out there to anyone who is willing to listen guys always remember that with swag fitness we emphasize the message that yes fitness is important but more important is your continued growth in your faith in Christ that's all the time that we have for today but Till next time, continue to be blessed. Continue to be a soldier. Be a soldier that walks along with God. Thank you, and God bless. Can you endure?